All sorts of rumors going on right now. Eagles linked to Jalen Waddle. Eagles trying to trade back to a let a quarterback needy team come in. The Eagles definitely going to move on from Zach Ertz. It is draft week, baby. Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes. With I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. Hey everybody, King Dingbat here. I'm in my garage with a cigar. It's only a candy cigar because my wife won't let me smoke one. After I put that big fat head up in our bedroom, then... let's get rid of that. I, at this point, I, I'd be happy for Dak to be playing for somebody else. And my team stinks. I agree. Stinks. They laugh about us. We're a disgrace. We suck. still stinks. Who by the way, King Ding by here and hopefully the jackhammering has stopped. They've been jackhammering for like two hours. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm feeling I'm watching a Bordo. I mean, who jackhammers that long? Unbelievable. But anyways, hopefully I can get this video in now and I know a lot of you guys have been saying, oh, I like the old helmet, like, you know, where's your background, what's going on? You gotta understand, I just moved. I haven't even unpacked yet. I don't even got anything on the walls except for blue couple, blue pieces of tape where the builders have to come and fix. So I haven't even had a chance to decorate or to unpack or anything like that. But here's the thing. The draft is Thursday, it is draft week, and starting tomorrow, we're streaming Tuesday, we're streaming Wednesday, we're streaming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, all three days of the draft, mother hoppers. It is going to be a great week, a crazy week, and hopefully I can get this uh, whole thing going. Right now, I'm using an 86-inch television screen to give me some sort of background. Uh, that's where we're at right now, but it is draft week. And we always improvise. The most important thing is you're here, we're streaming, and we're getting into it. Because this is going to be one crazy first round of the draft, especially. I mean, we got rumors going around all over the place. It's crazy right now. Uh, we got things like the Eagles yesterday. They're trying to trade up, right? They're trying to trade up. They're trying to trade up. Now, now they're listening to teams who might want to come up for a quarterback. So the Eagles could potentially trade back again. Now... I don't want them to trade back again. This is a team that won four games last year, okay? You were picking six, now you're picking 12. You need top-end talent. You don't need to be going back. But, you know, hey, I'm not Howie Roseman. I'm, I'm not a pencil pusher. I'm not calculating the calculations of the cornbread of, of the analytics, overthinking everything. Just take the best player, mother humper. Very simple. You know, I want to have a good draft. I want to have a great draft. I want to be celebrating. I want to be laughing, joking, <laughs> smoking stogies. I don't need a meltdown. I don't need to raise my blood pressure, even though it's great. I got great blood pressure, by the way. But I don't need this crap. I need the Eagles to do the right thing. No quitty pay. No quitty pay at 12. Can't do it. Ain't having it. But I think that, you know, that's kind of Howie Roseman's MO, right? So we're getting a lot of things. The Eagles... They could potentially want to trade back. And if you can tell, I'm very excited. It is draft week. It is draft week. And I'm loving it, man. And I, and not only that, but I'm like, this is my last day. I have to worry about fixing the other house. I'm almost done. Yesterday, I was supposed to go take off a satellite dish. I had to go to Home Depot and get a few things, right? So I go over to Home Depot. I'm getting a few things uh, before I take the dish down. And all of a sudden, I start talking to this Traeger dude. And the trader dude is saying, I'm going to throw in this, I'm going to throw in this, I'm going to throw in that. Here, you want to cover. And next thing I know, I'm buying a trader. I, I bought a smoker. I even know how the hell to use it. I don't even know. I guess I'm going to be like Mark Holmes now. You know what I mean? Sand in the wood, cooking the meat. Sand in the wood, cooking the meat. Michael ain't doing this. He's asleep. You know? But it don't matter. You know? And, and Mark Holmes keeps texting me. He keeps texting me. Oh, I'm going to have you ready to go. You're going to have an epic meltdown. I know it. I can't wait. I love it. This guy wants me to lose my mind. 
What? Who wants me to lose my mind out there? You don't want me to lose my mind. You want me to be happy. You want me to be happy. I'm a nice, happy guy. I'm a mother humper when I'm pissed, you know? So, a lot of crap going on this week. It is going to be a busy week. I can't wait to do a live stream with you guys tomorrow. It's going to be fun. This is the last day I have to deal with the other house, and I'm done. Then I'm all I have to worry about is unpacking. So, I'm excited, but... You know, we got a lot of things going. They are now saying, we're getting reports now that they're saying uh, that, that Zach Ertz is gone. He is going to get traded during this draft. And let me tell you something. A lot of people say to me, why do you want to get rid of Zach Ertz? Why do you want to get rid of him now? What's the point? Why would you want to get rid of a great player? Because he's older. Because he's older and he wants a lot of money. That is exactly why. And you don't waste a second pick and draft the tight end like Dallas Goddard and then never use him and let his whole rookie contract run out before he's even a starter. It makes no sense. Once you drafted Dallas Goddard, you were saying, hey, Zach Ertz, your days are numbered. That's just the way it is. Okay, he wants to get paid top three money as a tight end. You got to trade him. Should have done it two years ago. Should have done it after the 2019 season, really. They didn't. They wait. Now, look, I love Zach Ertz. I love everything's about him. But I love him, you know. But, you know, it's time to go. It's time to go. So I hope the Eagles can trade uh, can trade him. Now, what are, what are they going to trade him for? I don't know. There are a lot of rumors saying that the Eagles are going to use him to trade with, you know, to take, take that 12th pick. Zach Ertz, maybe something else, and move up into the top 10. And the Eagles, it sounds like they're looking at either cornerback or wide receiver. So what cornerback would the Eagles want to trade up for? And why would they want to do it? The only guy I can think of is the Eagles are interested in Patrick Sertan, right? Because I think Sertan on most boards is probably the number one corner. So the Eagles may be looking at Sertan going, he's going to Dallas at 10, we're going to jump him. Maybe that's who they're trying to get, to get after, you know, because uh, we're hearing reports today that if the Eagles can't, if the Eagles cannot jump up into the top 10 uh, and they have to stay at 12, uh, they're going to go after, it looks like Waddle. They're eyeing Jalen Waddle. They love him. Now, I think they, or assume that they think Devontae Smith is going to be gone because me personally, I'm taking Devontae Smith before I'm taking Jalen Waddle. Uh, and, and it's not that. I love Devontae Smith so much better than Waddle. I just think I just like him this much better. Just this much better than Jalen Waddle. But Jalen Waddle's explosive. You give me either one of those guys, I'm gonna be happy with it. I, I would not be I would not be upset at all. Look, here, here's the thing. We are a few days away from this mother humper. Okay, this is serious business now. This is for the future of this team. There ain't no playing around. I ain't playing today. I'm pumped. I'm ready for the draft right now. But you give me, you give me at 12, Devontae Smith, Jalen Waddle, Parsons, Sertan, JC, JC Horn. You could give me Rashawn Slater. You could give me all those guys. I'm going to be happy. You give me a situation where, a, uh, you know, um, the Eagles could get up to seven or eight and Kyle Pitts somehow falls or Jamar Chase somehow falls. Now, let me tell you something. I believe Jamar Chase or Kyle Pitts, one of them will be at seven. I think one of them slips to seven. That is my prediction. Now, here's the thing. You get me any of those guys, I'm good. You ain't going to hear any complaints from me. As long as it was the best player on their board. As long as the Eagles were true to the board. However, if they take Quiddy Pay, I'm losing this, man. I'm losing it. No defensive lineman at 12. None. Because they're not good enough. If you want a defensive lineman and you don't want me to tear down this house, then don't take Quiddy Pay at 12. Trade back and get him about 23. You know what I mean? Because, you, you know, I can't have this. I cannot have this time after time after time. Get the best player. Now, they're saying that the Eagles are linked. Uh, they're really eyeing Jalen Waddle. Hey, look, Jalen Waddle would be a perfect fit for the Eagles. I would love to see how the Eagles use him. Uh, you would have a fast, explosive offense with Jalen Waddle. So if the Eagles are really thinking of doing that, uh, hey, I'm all for it. The other thing you have to consider, it's all smokescreen. All of it is a smokescreen. All of it is misinformation. 
All of it is to fool people. All of it is to get people looking in a different direction while the Eagles do something else. This is totally possible too. We've heard. Here's, well, here's what we've heard in the last few days about the Eagles. The Eagles are trying to trade up. Now the Eagles are trying to trade back. The Eagles are interested in Jalen Waddell. The Eagles love and are linked to Devontae Smith. The Eagles are trying to get Kyle Pitts. Um, we're hearing all those things. What are we not hearing? That is the question. What are we not hearing? Because that is probably the most realistic situation when it comes to this team. We're not hearing the Eagles and Parsons. We're not hearing about the Eagles in defensive line. We're not hearing about the Eagles and Rashawn Slater. We're not hearing about the Eagles and, uh, you know, some, I, I don't know. I don't know. What else? You know, we're not hearing about the Eagles and somebody else I'm not even thinking of. Maybe Patrick Sertan. So the Eagles, they could very well be putting out this information. We don't know. I mean, hell, we there's reports now. There's there's actual articles of Bleeding Green Nation talking about whether or not the Eagles are even scouting players. They Why bother? Howie Roseman, he don't listen to the scouts anyways. Come on, man. You know, what is it? You know, what I want, what I want is I want to be happy on draft night. You got to get this right. At least day one, you got to get right. Get day one and day two right this draft. Very important. Can't have what happened last year happen. We can't have it, okay? I want in a perfect situation. Obviously, in a perfect situation, you can go up and you can get like Kyle Pitts or something. Let's say that doesn't happen. Let's say you stay at 12. Perfect situation for me. Take Devontae Smith. Take Jalen Waddle. Take one of those two guys if they're there. That's what I would do. If not, take Horn or take Sertan. I'm okay with those four. Those would be all exceptional draft picks, in my opinion. Then what I want the Eagles to do if you stay at 12, I want you to get one of your first picks next year because you're going to have three. You're going to have three. All right? Uno, dos, tres, mother humper. I, see, I know Spanish. I know Spanish. That's why my name is Julio in, uh, in Spanish. You know? So, oh, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, anyways. I want, I want to take one of those three first round picks and I want to trade back up into the first round and I want to draft JOK. JOK, a foundational piece on defense, who I love, by the way, I love him. You know what I mean? I love the guy. I love him. I love him. You know, and that's what I want. You know what I mean? If he was on that jackhammer right now, JOK, I'd be out there telling him, we're going to draft you, we're going to sign you, you jackhammer all the peoples you need to jackhammer. Just get drafted by the Eagles. That's what I think. With that said, I will see you guys for live streams starting tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, every day covering this whole mother humping draft. So be with me. Don't forget, like, subscribe. And with that said, take care. Talk to you later, and of course, don't be a dingbat. This is why I can't get set up uh, for my studio or find my green screen. It's buried in all this crap. And speaking of crap, I can't even film my video right now. Because I'm still waiting for them to stop jackhammering. I mean, the jackhammering all day. I feel like I'm watching a pool. What's with all this jackhammering?